Do you want to know where I get the best prompts for tools like ChatGPT or Claude AI that are specifically engineered to get you the best outputs without having to do any kind of prompt engineering or spending a bunch of time writing prompts? And these prompts are not available to most people because they don't know where to look for them. They're a hidden gold mine of super effective prompts. And once you know about them and start using them, you are going to have a huge huge competitive advantage over other people in your niche. And you're gonna to say to yourself, how have I not known about these sites before now? There are six websites that I use for these hidden prompts. Some are geared more towards ChatGPT and others are geared more towards Anthropics Claude. My favorite site for these hidden prompts, I will share a little bit later in the video. And if you have any others, or if you've discovered any other hidden websites, please let me know in the comments below. The first website that I'll share with you here here is GitHub. And there is an area on GitHub called Awesome ChatGPT Prompts. And obviously this is geared more towards ChatGPT. So let's take a look. So here it is, it's called Awesome ChatGPT Prompts. And as you can see here, there is 169 prompts that you can pick from. And of course, I'll share the links to all of the websites that I'm sharing with you in the video here today down in the uh, description. So all you have to do is scroll through here and look for a prompt that solves a problem or a, or a task that you're trying to accomplish. So let's just say, for example, I want to grab this storyteller. So I'm just going to copy this storyteller prompt and put it over into ChatGPT. Okay, so I've just pasted the prompt into ChatGPT. And as you can see here, it's formatted correctly, meaning it starts off with assigning a role to ChatGPT, then it gives it a task, then it gives uh, some context. Depending on the target audience, you may choose specific themes or topics for your storytelling session, etc. For example, if it's children, then you can talk about animals. If it's adults, my first request is I need an interesting story on perseverance. Well, you can put in whatever you want a story on right there in the quotes. Let's just go ahead and send that into ChatGPT. And now it's writing a story on perseverance called the painter of Montmartre in Paris. Pretty cool, right? So as you can see here, there are a ton of pre-done prompts for you here where you can customize different areas of the prompts based on whatever it is that you're specifically wanting to do or accomplish or a topic that you're interested in having ChatGPT uh, give you an output about. You know, one way to easily look through this huge library of 169 prompts is to do do a command F if you're using a Mac or control F and doing a find for a specific keyword. You can just start scrolling through all these prompts like life coach right here or a career counselor or what have you. And again, you're just copying and pasting them into ChatGPT, adding in whatever customization that you need to and your prompt is done. You don't have to do any kind of prompt engineering. The second website for finding hidden prompts and this one again is geared towards ChatGPT. It's called the promptindex.com. It is super user friendly and it's all user generated prompts and there's an upvoting system, something like you find on Product Hunt, for example, where people can upvote the prompts that users are submitting. So let's take a look at the prompt index. So as you can see here, the user interface is super user friendly. They have different filters. You can search by different uh, prompts. So let's just click on business, for example, and I could search on any kind of title that I might be looking for of a prompt, but you can also just scroll down through and you can see the upvotes based on the user submitted prompt. So this one right here is a PowerPoint generator and it gives you specific instructions to follow. Then right here, here's the prompt. So all you do is read the instructions and then copy the prompt based on what the instructions are saying and then put that into ChatGPT and away you go. And then scrolling down here, you can see, you know, there's like building a solid business model, crafting your business idea, meeting with famous investors. There's all kinds of different business related prompts here. And if you know a little bit about prompts, what I'd recommend that you do is once you have opened up a prompt like this PowerPoint generator, just take a read through and see if it makes sense and see if it aligns with what you specifically 
likely are trying to accomplish. And if it doesn't, that doesn't mean that you don't use the prompt. That just simply means, okay, let's grab the prompt based on the instructions and then alter it a little bit, adapt the prompt a bit to whatever it is that you want to accomplish. But again, there's all kinds of different categories, as you can see at the top here, like I click on marketing, I can click on AI or personal or what have you. So a ton of different options here. It makes it super easy to search for prompts. And as you can see, a lot of them have instructions along with the prompt and you just follow the instructions and then do what the instructions are saying along with the prompt inside of ChatGPT. You can also, by the way, create an AI assistant or an AI agent to write prompts for you based on whatever task that it is that you want to accomplish. And I've actually done this for ChatGPT and for Claude inside of a tool called Cassidy AI. Let me just show you real quick. So as you can see here, these are two assistants that I've created. These write prompts for me. This one on the left here writes Claude prompts. This one on the right here writes ChatGPT4 prompts. And let me just show you what this looks like. So this is my assistant down here. I can write in whatever task it is that I want to accomplish. So I want to write an onboarding sequence for my membership program. And then I just click go and it's going to ask me some questions if necessary, but it's also going to write me a prompt. I'm going to get super meta here. I've written the prompt to write this prompt. So if you want to check out how to create assistance in Cassidy, I did a video about it, which you can check out right here. And I'll also include a link to Cassidy down in the description below. Now let's shift into finding hidden prompts for Claude, which is the AI model I tend to find myself using most often these days. And this next site is Anthropic's own prompt library. So here's the prompt library. And as you can see, it's right inside of Anthropic. You can search for specific prompts and you can also filter by business prompts over here. Let's just say that you are hiring for a certain role on your team. You have no idea what to ask of the candidate when you interview them. So right here in the prompt library, for example, there is a an interview question crafter. So it gives you the system prompt. It gives you the user prompt. So all you have to do is take the system prompt here and the user prompt, copy and paste those into Claude, and you've got your prompt. And just like I've already mentioned, you always want to look at the prompt, especially when it's pre-written and adapt it in any way that might be necessary for your specific situation so that it can be personalized for you. And you can see here the example output. This is the type of output you might expect from this prompt. And it's just written seven interview questions for you in a matter of seconds. And this is Anthropic's own prompt library for Claude. All right, let's continue with more hidden prompts for Claude. This is probably my favorite one. It's also probably the most advanced one I'm going to share with you here in this video. Now, I am not a technical person whatsoever, but the cool thing is with this one, all you got to do is follow the steps and it's very intuitive. So let's go take a look. Okay, this one is inside of Google's collab. It's called Meta Prompt. And again, all you have to do is follow the steps. So the first step you want to do, make a copy by clicking file, save a copy in Drive. So let's do that. Cool. The second step says, enter your Anthropic API key in between quotation marks where it says, put your API key here. Now this tool and the next website, you do want to have an API key for Anthropic. The keys are free. You can get it, but it will cost a little bit to use the API. It's very, very cheap. You can put a literally a $5 credit on your Anthropic account and away you go. So the first step will be to get your Anthropic API key. And then you're going to put it right in here where it says, put your API key here. And you want to put it right between the quotation marks, just like it says right here in step number two. Now, the next part here says, enter your task where it says, replace with your task. So you just want to scroll down here and it says, replace with your task. So in between the quotes, you're going to be putting whatever task it is that you want to accomplish. In the example that they've provided, it says, draft an email responding to a customer complaint. And again, as you go through these steps, just follow each of the steps in uh, as you go through. So for quick start, enter your task in the cell below. Here are some examples.
examples for inspiration. You know, rate a resume according to a rubric, explain a complex scientific concept, blah, blah, blah. There are two examples of tasks and optional variables below. So you can either just use this one or this first one. You don't need both of them here. But again, as you can see here, it is telling you step by step exactly what to do and where to put things. All right, so let's go back up here. It says optionally enter an all caps list of variables in quotes separated by commas where it says specify the input variables that you want Claude to use. Same exact thing that you would do if you're writing a prompt and putting it into Claude or, or ChatGPT. This would be usually like context. So if you want it referencing an email or examples that you want the output to look like, etc., those would be your variables. Okay, then all you have to do is follow the next step here where it says then you can simply click runtime run all and your prompt will be displayed at the bottom of the notebook. Now, I have to admit the first time I went through this, I was like, where's runtime? <laughs> where's that? Well, I don't even understand that. And then I was like, oh, it's up at the top here. Okay, cool. So I click on runtime run all after you've put in, remember your API key, your task and any kind of variables that you want Claude to take into account as it is writing the prompt for you. And then you're done. You just click on runtime run all and then your prompt will show at the bottom of this notebook here. This next website for finding hidden prompts is another gold mine for Claude. And it's much easier to use than the last site that I just showed you. Now for this tool here, as I mentioned in the previous tool, you're gonna need an Anthropic API key for this one. So you will need to input your API key, I'll show you here in just a second, into this tool in order to use it to write prompts. Okay, this one's called Claude 3 Prompt Optimizer app, And it will write the prompt for you based on whatever task that you put in here. So in this field here, you would put your Anthropic API key, like I just mentioned, then you would put whatever task that you want to accomplish here in this field. You could even choose the Claude model that you want the prompt written for Opus, Sonnet, or Haiku. You could put any kind of variables that you want to make sure that this tool is taking into account to write your prompt. It tells you and gives you an example of what a variable might be right down below. And so as soon as you put that information in, it's going to write you the prompt over here on the right hand side. All right, so let's see the Claude 3 prompt optimizer in action. I've already put a task in here. I'm basically telling it to create an enticing and valuable offer for my new AIFI lab membership. I've also put a variable in here, just basically saying who the target audience is for the new offer. And as I mentioned, I do need the, or an Anthropic API key. So let's go over to Anthropic's console, go to the keys page, API keys section. I wanna create a key. I'm going to name it. So let's just name it the Claude 3 Prompt Optimizer. I'm going to create the key. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to come back over here, paste it into the field, and I'm going to click Submit. And so the prompt will show up over here on the right side. All right, so here it has generated the prompt. You can see the instructions, it's input sections in the prompt that it wants you to fill in. So it's written the entire prompt for you and you can take this and put it right into Claude. Pretty good, right? Again, review it, adapt it accordingly, click on the copy button right here and paste it into Claude. And in 30 seconds, you've got a super effective prompt written for you that all you have to do is copy and paste right into Claude. Now, in addition to these hidden prompt websites, if you ever get stuck, if you're in ChatGPT or you're in Claude and you get stuck writing a prompt, you can ask ChatGPT or Claude to generate ideas for prompting strategies for whatever task it is that you want to accomplish. So you're asking it to help you use it. It'll give you prompting strategies. So if you ever get stuck, just ask it. So again, if you've discovered any other prompt websites like I've shared with you here today, I'd love to hear about them. Put them in the comments below. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And I wanna invite you to subscribe to the channel by clicking that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.